So let's scroll down. Wow, look at this. This is the drop down when you are going to select the state and then it should load the city. There you go. Wow, it looks perfect. And these are the list of the state in cards layout. So look at the animation right there. Wow, look at this beautiful salon around Australia. It's a perfect theme. It's really beautiful using God code, guys. Let's check one of the listings. Look how beautiful it displayed the opening R. So this is one of the listings right here. Wow, perfectly done. Nearby beauty salon and we have it here. But take a look how much we spent. So today, so the total amount we spent for that particular custom prom and entire directory, it's just 1.03. Imagine if you're going to pay a developer for that type of theme, it would cost you not less than $500. But this one, it's just 1.03. Well, in this video, I want to show you quickly how you can integrate Cloud Code in your VS Code. We know when we run Cloud Code, it runs in command line or terminal. In this one, you can directly integrate it in VS Code. If you don't know what v VS Code is, it's an IDE where you can write codes and easily manage your applications, your repository. Now, let's integrate Cloud Code here. The first thing that you want to do, so just copy this simple command right here and you can open a terminal or you can go directly here in your VS Code and open the terminal from here. So you click on terminal and then a new terminal. So you can run the simple command right here. Since I already run a command, I won't do that, but it's very simple. You just run that command and the installation will guide you through. So after installing that, you will be prompted to select a login method. In my case, I don't have the pro account or the max account. So I will go with the pay as you go, this Entropic console account. So what you're going to do is head over to this HTTPS console that entropic.com slash settings slash plans. So just take a snapshot of this one. And in this one, you'll just need to log in on your Google account, set up a payment method, and you will be able to acquire your API key. Now, when you select the login method number two, so you just type in number two, you will be prompted to enter the API key and that's it. You're good to go. So that's the first step. You install it via command line using this code right here. Now the second step to integrate that in your VS Code here, once you're in the VS Code, click this icon right here, this name called extensions, click that and here in the search, just type in Claude Code. In my case, it's installed. So what you need to do is take this. So you will see some variations right here. Make sure you install the one with the verified. So this one, the publisher has verified this application. So make sure you're installing this one. So install this Claude Code for VS Code. Once that's installed, you will see there's a disable and an install. That means it's now ready to use. Now, remember, we installed the VS Code using this command right here in your terminal. Once that is successful, you're ready to integrate that. So what you can do is head over here, open a project. So in this one, I'm just going to quickly try how we can create your entire application using the VS Code, using Cloud Code via VS Code. So we will be prompting this instant directory maker right here to try if it will give us a better output using Cloud Code. So just quickly, I'm going to set up a local WordPress since I'll be making a directory. So suppose you want to scrape data and this is the actual directory that you're making. So in this instance, I'm just going to go read Beauty Salon. So I'm going to go to scrape business listings. So I'm using Kifa Scraper. You can use something else to scrape your data. But in my case, I'm just going to make it simple. So here, I'm just going to choose Beauty Salon and let's choose Australia. Now, I don't want to choose state, so I'll be choosing all the states. And here, let's grab 100 just for sample data. Now let's scrape this. So once it's done, you will see here it's completed. So just download it. So this is how it's going to look like. It's in CSV format. So to easily upload this, we will be saving this as a XLS. So I'm just going to go to save us. And here, just choose this first option, that XLSX, which I'm just going to name this, Duty Salon AU, and then click on save. All right, now that I have this XLS file, the next thing that I want to do, I'm just going to quickly clean up the data. So what we need to clean up here is the state name. So you see the state name here. You can see there's Victoria and there's the shortened version. So we have to fix everything. All the shortened version, we have to make it a full state. So it will appear nicely and correctly in our directory once we upload this listing. So let me do that by using the filter and then here click this and then sort ascending. Now that it's in ascending old order, let me have a look at the shortened versions. So one example is this Vic. I'm just going to make it as full Vic. This is just a 100 listing just for our sample. So mostly you will get it done quickly. Sometimes New South Wales, there will be shortened version as NSW. So just fix that, save it. Now, what we got to do is continue creating this local WordPress. I'm just going to create a new site. So here, I'm just going to say Beauty Salon AU. And then click on Continue and click on Add Site. 
So once that's installed, take this one click admin so that when you click this WP admin, it goes straight to the dashboard. We're ready to try that in VS Code. So what we're gonna do, click this VS Code, it straight away opens up your WordPress files right here. Now what I'm gonna do, pick one file right here. So once you click that, you will see this icon right here. That is the cloth code that you can directly run in your VS Code. So click this. And as you can see right here, it will ask permission to modify your current directory. So just click on select one and that's it. You're ready to write your code. Now, what we're gonna do right here, I will copy the directory from to create our first directory using the beauty salon and let's see how it will look like. So I'm just gonna copy this, paste it in a blank book pad and then let me just configure all these settings right here. Folder name, let's just say beauty salon testing cloud code. All right, so the title, site title will be beauty salon directory in Australia. And custom post key, let's just type in beauty dash salon. For me, this will be categorized by state. That's why they fixed the naming convention of the state or region. Team name, I'm just gonna have it saved as the folder name. Directory Google category will be DT Salon. And the tank tree will be Australia. So color palette, you can fill this with color palettes that you want to use, but just for the sake of this, I'm just gonna remove that. And when you remove that, you have to go to line 32 or 31. Just remove this, apply these color palettes because we are not using it. And that's it, we're ready to prompt this. So I'm just gonna copy this. So just keep on watching guys because I'm showing you how you can easily upload the listing. If you're regular to this channel, you know the process, but for those who are new, so just keep on watching because you will learn how you can create your own directory and prompt it in just one go using this custom prompt. So we copy this and here going back to our cloud code integrated in our VS code. So here, what we're gonna do is just paste everything. So you can see here, we pasted around 200 lines and let's see how it's gonna process this. So you can expand this to see the lines and let's enter this. So you can see these are all our prompts and let's see how cloud code will handle this instant directory. So initially it will prompt you uh, this one to do you want cloud to ask you before it execute every command. So just make sure you select this. Yes. Don't ask again in this session. So you can use the second option and then go ahead and proceed. So you can see right here, we have the summary cloud code completed our request and it's all tick right here. All the tasks that we asked, as you can see, it listed out all the things that needed to be done. And hopefully cloud code got it in just one go. So we go to WWP content, we go to teams. So there you go. That's our new team right there. And we have all the necessary things that we requested. Now it's time for us to see how beautiful the team is. Hopefully it will be an excellent thing for us to use in our WordPress directory. So here we go to the WP admin because we needed to activate the team. So that's the team right here, beauty salon in Australia, activate this. Now, before we see the thing, we need to upload the listings. So first thing we need to install a few plugins. The first plugin will be advanced custom fields. So here just install and then activate this once it's installed. And once it's activated, go to ACF and then get these field groups and you will see the sync available. That's the custom field and we have to import it right there. Okay, once it's imported, you will see the beauty salon custom post type right there. Now to upload the listings, we have to install this custom plugin. It's available in the description below if you want to use this. So I'm just going to upload this and upload the CSV porter that we created for this directory. So that's the plugin right there. Install this and then activate it. Now we're ready to upload our listings right here. So click tools and you'll see the XLSX importer. Now we're going to browse that XLSX file. So that's the beauty salon AU upload and parse file. And then here we're going to select the beauty salon post and post type load fields. So here you don't need to do much. You just need to map the content to attributes. And then the featured image will be the main image right there. And advanced custom field, they are mapped by default. So you don't have to change anything. You just need to configure the taxonomy mapping. Click this and first our parent taxonomy will be the region. That's why we fix the naming convention. And here you just select the state and our children will be city right there. So we have a beautifully created hierarchy of our categories or taxonomy. Again, select states here. And now we click start import. So in just few seconds, we will see the directory team that's created by Cloud Code. So you will see here the progress of the import. Don't close this Why? it's uploading while it's completing this, but you can open this to a new tab, which we are going to do now to see whether we created a perfect directory. So right click, open link in a new tab, and there you go. This is our directory created by Podcode. So let's scroll down. Wow, look at this. 
This is the drop down when you are going to select the state and then it should load the city. There you go. Wow. It looks perfect. And these are the list of the state in cards layout. So look at the animation right there. Wow. Look at this beautiful salon around Australia. It's a perfect theme. It's really beautiful using God code guys. And when you take one of the listings and this is how it will display the individual listing. Look at this. This is how perfect it created our theme right there. It's beautiful and clean. So if you want to change the theme color, you can do that by applying the color themes. And let's go to the state level view. Go to Victoria. So here are all the cities in Victoria. It will list the number of beauty salons because we just have the sample 100 listing. So we don't see much. Let's go to city level view. So click this one of the cities and it's displaying two listings right here. Look how beautiful it displayed our directory right here. This is the first time I use Cloud Code and it created the perfect thing for us. So here you just need to generate a hero section image and you're good to go. Look at how beautiful this is. So let's go to another state, maybe New South Wales. And these are all the cities in New South Wales. Again, let's check one of the, again, let's check one of the listings. Look how beautiful it displayed the opening R. So this is one of the listings right here. Wow, perfectly done. Nearby Beauty Salon and we have it here. This is a perfect directory theme using God code. So again, guys, that's about it. So let me check, completed all the 100 listings. So you just need to generate the logo and the hero section right here. And let's check one of this one. If it's going to redirect, go to Liverpool and there you go. We have our perfect directory theme using God code integrated in VS code. Thank you and see you on the next one.